Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this lovely clean egg. Uh, this one needs help getting out. Well, I might have to take out a second mortgage on my house. Looks like we got a little placenta here on this egg. The forbidden cotton candy that goes in your walls. You look beautiful today, sir. Philip, I oh, well, 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 well. Looks like we got a baby carrot. Sounds like we got a little friend in here as well. Oh my gosh, a lot of them. All right, now I can leave this little baby in the hatcher for a bit. Looks like we got a little placenta here on this egg. And if you guys are lucky, you can win this placenta. That's right, order a the baby plush and you can win this placenta. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these guys in here. And after church, I will go and see how they're doing. But now we have one that looks like Karen too. Oh. What's up, Epic Minecraft, Imposter, Moga, Sus, Fortnite, RuneScape, Club Penguin, Sisters? It's me, James Bingo. Today we have a very exciting video for today. I think Kevin is mating with Karen right now in there. Haha, <laughs> yes, Kevin. Oh, but on a real note, I do think that Karen is laying an egg in there, but I don't think Kevin would let us see it even if we wanted to. Well, I don't see an egg in there, but it doesn't mean that she's not about to lay one in a couple seconds. Looks like we got an egg in there. Okay, it has been a few hours now, and we have all these little ducklings. Uh, this one needs help getting out. This one needs help getting out. I'm in the back over there might need help getting out as well. But to start, I'm going to set up another brooder for those little guys. Now, when you're setting up a brooder for ducklings, it needs to be a little bit different. Wow, Poggers, thanks. This is epic. Oh, hey, Kevin. How are you today, sir? That's pretty epic. Hello, is that hit rapper an artist a baby? Are you covering yourself in a little bit of mud to keep cool on this warm summer day, sir? Okay, Karen delayed another egg, so I'm gonna have to use this pillow on Kevin. Hey, Kevin, slap. <gasps> hey, guys. All right, let's take a look at that new nest that Kevin and Karen made today. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, hey there, big boy. I may actually just leave this nest here because it's gonna be kept nice and dry. It's not gonna to get rained on real bad and kevin might actually take good care of it kevin kevin hey <laughs> you look beautiful today sir Philip, I hopefully this is going to be the last week that i will have these chicks in here they're going to be moving to wake up by the end of this week as i am so very excited kevin hey but yeah the yard's a mess today i need to go ahead and clean things up a little bit oh my gosh oh my gosh he just ran right at me and attacked me usually he slows down look at this lovely clean egg that's laid right here for the first time their egg has actually been laid in a decent spot Ducks tend to be a bit more messy, so I just made sure that these guys would be a little bit higher up. Look at all of these babies. As you can hear and see, these guys are stuck in their eggs, so I'm gonna need to help them out. Look at this baby. Oh, you made it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna intervene more later if need be, but I'm gonna add some water for now and uh, make sure these guys just stay here. All right, I'm headed to Waco now, and imagine being this much of an Attack on Titan fan. This is how I wanna be. Me in literally two days. What do you guys think? Should we do the same thing, but with the whole bus? Okay, we're at the Home Depot. Time to buy. Wow, only $50 for a piece of plywood. Wow, only $60 for this plywood. Good thing we only need 10 of them. Well, I might have to take out a second mortgage on my house, but at least now we have five pieces of plywood. Oh, even better. Okay, now we just need to get some plumbing supplies. Okay, these should get the job done. Sure would be nice to have a water heater, but <laughs> this looks nice. I don't know what any of these things are. Okay, now I'm in the aisle at Lowe's where they have the forbidden cotton candy that goes in your walls, kids. <laughs> Look at this stuff. $51 a bag. Well, it's a good thing we only need six of them. <laughs> Here's a fun little fact for you guys. Old Uncle Ben used to work for this whole company here, but this product is superior. Sure hope all this fits in the bus. <laughs> Based in nice pilled Lowe's worker gave me 10% off when I simply asked for it. Now this is epic. That's right, guys. We're in Waco, Texas, and today we are going to be putting insulation and flooring in a crack house. All right, guys. Who needs a mattress when you have $300 worth of insulation? You know, I'm thinking about paying $100 for this crappy three-quarter inch plywood, but it's got all these issues with it. But at least one of these has to be good. That's right. Uncle Ben is a plumber now, guys. Ever heard of it? Yeah, that's right, guys. Uncle Ben knows how to use a wrench, and I just cut my elbow on this little thing right here but look at the quality of this pipe hmm what do you think guys should we drink out of this that's right and if you guys order a baby 
you plush. We will give you this pipe the, from the, your very own Urban Rescue Ranch. You will get this pipe in the mail. It's rare, very rare, limited edition pipe. You know, this really isn't all that bad when my entire body, including my skin and face, is covered in the carcinogen known as a DEET. Yeah, that's right. I got PVC cutters. Ever heard of them? Now I'm gonna use this fancy little purple gloop glop so I can uh, put the little ding-dongs in their spoopies. Whoops, lost a little bit there. Well, good thing we got pipes to rinse this off. <laughs> this old purple boy here is a little primer and then uh, this old guy does a little gloop glop. But this little gloop glop makes it end up being a little bit of a sticky boy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, pur purple boy. Well, I couldn't quite get it above this little joist here, so we decided to just put it on this beautiful little cinder block there and that should be good. Then we're gonna go ahead and rip this guy out here so we can get access to the back where this little young uh, handsome boy is. Okay, we got All right, got this little handsome boy out of there. And look at these beautiful pipes, guys. And a sock. Free sock. Dibs. If you order a DaBaby plushie, you can get this sock right here. In your thing. In fact, one of you. In fact, you're all going to get a DaBaby sock. Okay. And now we got this beautiful young handsome boy off here. Go and put this in the corner. And if you guys order a DaBaby plushie, you can get this in the mail. Hey guys, this is what happens when you have real leaky, nasty pipes. As you can see, this stuff just kind of falls right apart what is this you think so yeah this isn't wood there's no way that that's not wood look at this little rusty guy there you see kids this is what happens when you spill your gulab jamoons and you don't clean it up bruh there was carpet under this Ugh. all right everybody i am working on the weekend per usual <laughs> yeah i listened to drake Check this out. This is the main line, it goes in here. This is gonna be a spigot that goes out to a hose on the side of the house. And then from there, whoop, almost slipped. Oh, I'm over here now. And it goes all the way over here. This is gonna be for the shower. And then it goes this way. It's like a little game, isn't this fun? And then this is for uh, the sink and the toilet. Uh, and they're gonna be right here. Doesn't that look nice and appealing? It smells like sewage. And then it goes all the way back here we also decided to put in this little t here uh, because we're going to have an outdoor shower or in case we need to wash off the animals so with this going out to the outside where it's not going to be covered or anything on the side of the porch we're going to be able to wash off any of the animals that's if we're doing flea baths and all that other good stuff then you got your t here and this is going to go to a water heater that's going to be on the porch and then we're going to have another network for the hot water coming back that goes all the way here which is going to be the kitchen sink and this is where we're also going to be taking care of the animals and washing off the smaller animals but anything bigger like once we start getting permits for deer and everything else we're going to want to be able to give them bath out here also if we get feral hogs all the other good stuff but this is our lovely back porch as you can see it's just a uh, awning now so we're going to go ahead and put more pillars in the middle here the water heater is going to be right here and then from there the hot water is going to go to the rest of the house i'm going to get rid of this little tub here but i need like two or three strong men with me to be able to lift this up because this is a cast iron tub i believe and all those back that's a rock wool are gonna have to just go up in here. This house was built before insulation was even a thing, which is neat. So we're gonna have to take off all these little shiplap boards. Yeah, we got shiplap. Ever heard of it? We're rich. Uh, and then we're gonna tear all this stuff down. We're gonna put the shiplap back up because that stuff's worth quite a little penny. I still have to tear off sheetrock or the walls in here uh, to do the same thing. All of the ceiling material needs to be torn out like we did in here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put all of the flooring in here because we don't really need any pipes or electric to come up from the ground in this living room at all. Just now we're putting in the flooring here. Got this little bad, uh, beautiful little handsome boy uh, down here. And then we got these other little pieces of plywood that we just got at Home Depot today. Okay guys, always wear your safety goggles and safety hat like mine uh, before doing this. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, well it's two in the morning now and I just walked through a very large spider web as you can see. We're almost done putting the subfloor on the ground. After all the subfloor's down, I'm gonna go ahead and rip off the ship laps and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some of that insulation on there. Hey, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Wonder what this was used for. Okay, now we just need to get these guys in here. That way we can put the rest of the subfloor down. Here, we just need to get a little bit more down and then we'll finally have a living room again. Okay, it's four in the morning now, but this entire thing is now done. But yeah, all the subfloor is now done. It's not perfect, but it'll do. All right, I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm home now. It looks like Kevin's trying to get with Karen. 
time to tighten gamers collar but that's it guys that was a full all-nighter all right i'm not doing that again love you oh i almost forgot to ah!